Green jobs are a growing industry, and Fox Valley Technical College is going green with a drive for new fuel. And joining us this morning is Dave Gerlach, agriculture instructor at Fox Valley Tech, live this morning from the college's new biodiesel lab. Morning, Dave. How are you? Well, good morning. Could you tell us a little bit about the program there at Fox Valley and um, what you have well, to offer students? Well, what we have here is we have we set up a lab that will press out raw vegetable oil from soybeans, and then we also have a processor here that we're using to uh, take used vegetable oil from the local uh, uh, fry food establishments, uh, leftover oil or waste oil, and uh, taking it and converting it to number two or into a fuel that's close to number two diesel or biodiesel. And this processor works very well. And uh, what we we got uh, uh, Tyler here who is who's operating the machine. And uh, what we want to do is, in addition to our two processing lines for raw oil as well as used vegetable oil into biodiesel, uh, we have a tractor set up to run on both of them. And I want to demonstrate that. And uh, as we go over here, I just want to show you some of uh, the uh, uh, differences in oil. Uh, what we have here is strictly biodiesel that we made. And you can see it's kind of thin. That's the way it is. Here is, here is regular raw vegetable oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to take both these out to the tractor and uh, we have a tractor set up and running that actually runs on that and as we do that the tractor is, will start on biodiesel which it is doing and um, and we will pour this stuff right into the tractor this is this is running on strictly biodiesel right now and um, as uh, it, you know as the tractor warms up when it gets hot enough it'll switch over to a straight vegetable oil Kyle you got that Tyler, okay, and uh, as you can see, this is the main this is the main tank over here, and the main tank will run pure raw vegetable oil. Wow! And uh, this is common technology in Germany. Uh, this is starting to catch on here in the United States, uh, and there are people who are out in the valley that have units like this, and you will see more units like this as we as time progresses on. Well, Dave, I uh, think what's interesting is that we hear about all these new fuels and new green technology, but we don't talk about training people to actually use it, and that's what you're doing at Fox Valley Tech. Okay. Is that right? Well, we're, yeah, we're trying to train people. We're training all our agriculture students or exposing them to the to this concept. Uh, well, when we got cheap fuel right now, it's probably not the most popular, but we all know what's going to happen to fuel prices, and then this, we're, we're all set to do a lot more training with this kind of technology at, at the school here. So uh, we're offering these classes to our agribusiness students and, uh, uh, and anybody else who wants to, uh, to partake in the classes. And we're having workshops, and we had summer workshops for science teachers this summer and agriculture instructors. So uh, you're going to see more of this as, as the... Uh, school year goes on, and more as you see as, as our, our fuel energy uh, uh, picture changes in the nation. Yeah, well, Dave, thanks a lot for filling us in. Thank you for the demonstration, and uh, good luck with the open house today. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Again, Thank you. The, the open house, if you want to see more um, examples of that, the open house is from 3 to 7 today. It's at the Appleton campus of Fox Valley Technical College. Just go to entrance 10. For more information, log on to fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin.